Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for December 23rd through the 29th. Leo, it looks like somebody could be spying on you, and it could be somebody he's having a sexual relationship with, or she's having a sexual relationship with. Stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, if you're returning, thanks for the love and support. I really appreciate my subscribers. Uh, please keep in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, I'm available for personal readings. If you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you use my promo code, you will get $10 off your first reading with me. Let's get into this and see where it goes. Leo, you're starting off your read with the Page of Swords. This is my spying card. Sorry about that. My spying card. This person is either gathering information or they're watching you on social media, possibly driving by your house. Take it how it resonates. Underneath that, we have the Ace of Wands. This is about a passionate new beginning. So spying on somebody they're possibly having a sexual relationship with. Somebody from their past because you have the Seven of Pentacles looking at the past here. And they're either holding back. Here you are, Leo. In your uh, Leo is the one spying. So Leo is the one that's spying. And uh, you're needing strength or you're holding back. Uh, probably having to defend yourself, standing your ground. Uh, with the uh, uh, Seven of Wands, or it's possibly blocking somebody. So blocking somebody you had a sexual relationship with, needing strength, and they're spying on you, possibly, looking at the past. You're standing here as the Queen of Cups. This is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is someone who's very intuitive, kind, loving mother. Uh, take it how it resonates with you, but this person had options. You have the Seven of Cups here. This is options or confusions. Now you're holding back. It could be you're confused, but you're gaining some, uh, you're, you're trying to gather information. You are going to make a head over heart decision about something. You have the two of swords here. You're blind to something, but you're going to make a decision here. My cards are flipping everywhere. You're making a decision about this king of swords here. You know, you're looking at this. They're on the board like this. He's looking at her. She's looking at him. Okay, this is someone who's strategic, who doesn't show his emotion. She's someone who shows her emotion, and she is uh, very intuitive. So somebody's making a decision about this King of Swords here. Now, somebody wants wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups, and they want a new beginning in love. You have the Ace of Cups right in the center of the reed here, but they're feeling stuck. They're feeling very stuck. You have the Eight of Swords. And it comes between, the Eight of Swords comes between a true match here, between the King and the Queen of Swords. So you're very feeling very stuck, possibly, to this person. You're up in your head about this person. Now, <clears throat> somebody's making a decision. It has to do with them. Now, this person's wanting happiness. This King's wanting happiness and a new beginning in love. Feeling stuck. Feeling anxious, very up in their head about this. Could can't sleep at night, having anxiety because something ended here. Someone got backstabbed in love. Uh, this is the Ten of Swords, an ending in love, and it's coming under this Queen of Swords. It's above the Queen of Swords here. So uh, this king, this king is all up in his head about this Queen of Swords. You have the Queen of Cups making a decision that has to do with him. And then you have him up in his head about an ending with the Queen of Swords. But he's coming towards this Queen of Swords to speak his truth. You have the Knight of Wands coming in quickly to speak a truth. She is his Two of Cups. She's, just, she's evenly matched with him. This is a soulmate, a past life soulmate. Soulmate could be an ex. But this could be about reconciling as well, because the Six of Cups is also reconciliation. But she's holding on to him. She's holding on. Not letting him go. This is the Four of Pentacles. So 
he's coming in to speak his truth to her, who is his two of cups. He's holding on. She's holding on. She's also gaining perspective on the situation about what this truth really is. She's somebody from his past. This is, like I said, it could be a true soulmate. Now, somebody's wanting to take a leap of faith here. Under the bottom of the deck. Because they've manifested this. They're taking a leap of faith because they, they have all the tools that they need to manifest this. You have the wand, the cup, the sword, and the pinnacle. Somebody here has gained perspective about something from their past they're holding on to. They're wanting to take a leap of faith. They manifest this because there was a tower here. The tower came crashing down on something that wasn't built on solid foundation, and it had to do with the competition, the jealousy, competition, or strife. But now, and maybe possibly that there was no equal give and take because you have this person over here making a decision about this person that they felt very guarded about. So when he's making a decision, <clears throat> the decision could be this king, but this, this queen of cups was an option to him. And that's possibly what caused the, the ending with this queen of swords here that, you know, the competition, something came crashing down because of that. There was no equal give and take and somebody was bored or discontent, and now they're wanting to work on it after they ended something with the death card. This could be with the Scorpio. They ended burden as well. They, they, they want to work on something after they've ended the burden. This was the burden, and they want this victory. That's all I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas or happy holidays.